Hello, and welcome back to another Google Analytics for tutorial. Today, we're going to go over how to start tracking submission form events in Google Analytics 4. I will say you will need three things before we get started. You will need a submission form, you will need a Google Analytics 4 property, and you will need a Google Tag Manager property all set up on your website. So the very first thing that we will need to start with is right here on the submission form. One thing that's super important for your submission form is that it needs to have a different URL um, when you submit the form. So right now we have it as globalreach.com slash contact. After I submit this form, it should be something like globalreach.com slash contact slash confirmation or slash thank you. Otherwise, you won't exactly be tracking the most accurate conversions. You could um, be tracking this button down here but there could be situations where people are filling this out and you know they aren't putting in the required fields and they're still clicking, clicking submit and that would still register as a conversion when it really isn't. So the best thing to do is to make sure that there is an additional confirmation URL. So I'm going to pause the video right here and fill up this form and show you what that looks like. So I have filled out the required fields on this form. So I'm going to go ahead and click submit and we're going to look at how the URL changes. So let's click Submit. And over here, we have it now as globreach.com slash contact slash confirmation. So this is going to be the means in which we use to track submission forms on Google Linux. So the next step is for us to go over to Google Tag Manager. Okay, and welcome to our Google Tag Manager container. And now we just start by making a pretty uh, simple uh, tag and trigger combination to make sure that this fires as expected. So let's go ahead and start with the trigger. You want to go ahead and click the triggers and click on new. In this situation, we're going to call this the contact us trigger. Let's click on trigger configuration and let us click on window loaded. So this will be on some windows loaded events and it's going to be a uh, URL or page URL contains slash contact confirmation. I think contains is a safer bet, um, you know, if you're completely sure of what your, your your URL is going to be, that's absolutely fine. You can go ahead and click equals, but I think contains is a pretty safe and standard way to go. So once you have this, I'm going to just go ahead and save it. I'm going to call this tutorial just so I have tabs and what I've been using, and I'm going to click save. So once you have your trigger, the next step is to just go ahead and make your tag. So to make the tag, you just want to go over to tags and click on new. And this is going to be a Google Analytics 4 event. You want to select Google Analytics 4 configuration. And for the event name, I'm going to call it click. It's not really a click, but I just want it to go into the same uh, spot as all the other data does in our property. But you can go ahead and call it whatever event you would like. And under event parameters, this is where the real specification happens. And this sort of depends on what you prefer. You know, I prefer a pre-organized naming convention. So I'm just going to call it contact form submission and make sure you do have underscores in this section if not you won't be able to bring it through to google analytics 4. so once you have that in there your value is just going to be something like you know the value is just how it appears in google analytics 4. i like it appearing a certain ways so i'm just going to call it contact us submission i'm going to put a semicolon and i'm going to put the page url And let me just put a space in there so it looks a little cleaner and a little more refined. And now this is the tag configuration part of our tag. And for triggering, it's as easy as selecting the trigger that you just created. So I called it tutorial trigger, contact as trigger tutorial, and there we go. So I'm just going to call this contact us tag tutorial because that's just an easy way of naming contact us tag tutorial and that is created 
So now the next step is to preview this and make sure that it is working as expected. So go ahead and click on preview. And if you don't have your, your URL in here, just go ahead and paste it in there. Uh, mine's in here because I use it a bunch, but sometimes it's not always in there. So just go ahead and grab it um, and just click connect. And here we are. So I'm going to navigate to the contact us section. And once again, I'm going to fill out this form and submit it and make sure that this tag is firing as expected. So I'm going to pause the video and be right back when I'm, fill I'm done filling out the form. All right. So that form is filled out and I'm going to go ahead and click submit. And let's watch and see if our tutorial tag has fired. And yes, it has. As you can see here, it says contact us tag tutorial has fired one time. So that's awesome news. So once you know that it's working, you can go ahead and click on submit and this will submit your changes. So now I'm going to show you how to bring it through on Google Analytics 4. All right, so welcome to Google Analytics 4. I will say that uh, from the time you submit your changes on Google Tag Manager, you're going to have to wait 24 hours to do this next step. But let's just assume that 24 hours have passed. So welcome to your property. What you have to do now is go ahead and go down to this admin button and you're going to go to custom definitions. Because you're importing a definition that isn't pre-built or isn't out of the box in Google Analytics 4, it's going to be considered a custom definition. So go ahead and click custom definitions and click on create custom dimensions. So for dimension name, I'm gonna to stick to the basics and call it contact us submission or contact us form submission. And for a description, I'm going to be as detailed as I can just for future reference. Uh, you know, I'm going to say that this metric or this dimension rather uh, tracks when a submission form submitted. So once I have that, for the event parameter. So if you recall on our tag up here, I had a parameter name called contact underscore form underscore submission. If you wait 24 hours, that will come through here on Google Analytics 4. Uh, for me, it has not been 24 hours yet, so it won't be here, but um, you will see that in here. So go ahead and click on that and click on save. So once you click on save, you have to wait another 24 hours to see the data coming through on Google Analytics 4. And once you have the data, you'll be able to do anything you want with it. You can make uh, Looker Studios reports with it. You can make uh, custom reports in GA4 with them. You could export them to PDFs and make reports. It's just data at your fingertips, just so you're kind of, you know, um, on the ball with, uh, you know, your users and your leads and, and whatnot. So I hope this tutorial helped you uh, have a better idea of how to track your submission forms. And... Uh, check out our other tutorials on Google Analytics 4. You know, we really are trying to help um, you guys master this platform as, 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 as well as you possibly can. So there are a ton of tutorial videos out right now, and there are a couple more coming out um, as we get closer to the summer of 2023. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and we appreciate your time.